Hello, this is Apostle Patrick T. Randolph. Thank you for joining me today on another episode of I Care. One of you know that God is a faithful God and he cares for you and he cares for you so much that you're still here in the earth. Hallelujah to the Lamb because he is the one that's kept you and has kept you in this earth. Isn't God good? Well, on yesterday I was talking to you about stewardship again, uh, last episode, and I was talking to you about the gentleman that had built barns, well, he had his barn that were full, had nowhere else to put his things. So what he decided to do was he would tear down his barns and build bigger barns. And he would take it easy. He would chill out and just live his life. Well, God is not pleased with that attitude. God is not pleased with that mindset. God has made us all to be givers. God has made us all to share what we have because, again, we are after God's image after God's likeness, and God is, first of all, he is a giver because he loves, hallelujah. So this man, he, he decided he would build his barns again, and he would tear down the other barns, and God said something. God said, this night, thou fool, this night, thy soul is required of you. Then he asked him a question. Well, said a, a statement to him. He said this. He said, well, actually a question. It, it, when you die, whose stuff is this going to be? You can't take it with you, basically. So, again, it's going to be here. Hallelujah. So, what God is looking for, again, is people that have a right heart to the thing, with the things that he gives you. God is not ever expecting your heart to be a heart of hardness where you simply decide that you're going to uh, hoard everything for yourself and you could care less about anybody else, which was an excellent picture of this gentleman. This gentleman, again, he was going to be at ease with himself could care less about anybody else or the plans of God. Amen? So God is looking for you. God wants you blessed. God wants you to have more than enough. But God wants you flowing in his kingdom. And as you flow in his kingdom, there are blessings evermore. Blessings, blessings, blessings. And so as a result of the blessings of God, he wants to increase you. Remember, you and your children God wants to increase. Hallelujah. So as he increases you, you recognize the fact that I am a giver. I am a share. I share what I have. God loves, watch this, God loves faithful givers. God loves cheerful givers. God loves people that share. Listen, everything that God created was designed to share, to give. The sun gives heat. The sun gives light. The moon gives the night light. Stars give light at night. Amen? Trees give oxygen. Everything brings in something, and it gives back. And so that's how God looks at us. He wants us to change kingdoms. He wants us to become tithers. He wants us to be offers. He wants us to hear his word concerning giving and then obey his word. Have no fear when you do what God tells you to do. Have no fear when you sow into the kingdom of God because you have to recognize again, God reciprocates, watch this, not in like kind, but God multiplies what you sow. Hallelujah to the Lamb. It'll never be dollar for dollar, penny for penny, hundred for hundred. But God multiplies your seed that is sown. Isn't that amazing? And again, remember, God loves a cheerful giver. You can give to, to the point where you have no need of outside help. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. Remember, you have no need of outside help. I care. I care.